Well, so you bought this new, the stove. Someone gave it to me. Someone, gave it to you. someone uh, was was. Uh, well, I mean, he sold it. He sold it. He, he sold it to me. But it was uh, in an old boat. He was going to put it in an RV, and he felt that uh, that it, since I was going to Labrador, it'd be better served if I went if it went with me. So yeah, so I chop up little pieces of wood. You have an app. You have an app, like a small. A what? Hand axe for splitting wood. Okay. So I chop it, chop it into small pieces. Yeah, the 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 hard part really was where to put it, mm. and and how to route the the stove, the the pipe to it. And so so it really really took some investigation to to get a um to find the, the box because this is all salvaged metal because that really? I kind of I didn't want to buy any. Anything new, so I, I went to scrap yards and I found the box, and then I was gonna put it through this window. I was gonna put it right through this window. <laughs> I was gonna open the window. That would have attracted attention. And then it would have been out and then up. But then, and then and then I was like, well, what if someone you know runs into it when oh, it's red yeah. hot? Yeah. And then uh, so I was like, all right, so I'll I'll make a box for it, and then when I got this, I wanted to use all of it to. to sort of disperse the heat as much as possible. Yeah. Like the Quakers, they they used a long stove pipe through That's their right. whole house. And so I was like, well, I'll use the whole use the long stove pipe. And then when I did that, the only place it could go out was above the bed. And so then it, it goes out and above the bed. And uh, and after that, it was really a question of whether or what even heat the place at all. And when it's when it's about free.